920 good morning everybody uh, oh I'm trying to sound enthusiastic because I'm not it's Friday 26th of March grey bit of a cool southwest are blowing uh, just giving you a look around back over the bridge there uh, that's a sort of uh, south well that's from where the wind's coming from so there you go that's a uh, southwest uh, here we go uh, a bit of shock a little bit of swirl, but uh, again, not a perception, it's not big waves. So it's a fair bit of chop here in lumps, but uh, it looks uh, okay. There's a little bit more white water out the back, of course. But uh, I'm hopeful. Come across the guys, as you can see, we're floating out in the middle of the breakwater, and uh, I'm in the water, got pitfall, we've got waves pushing me, I'm thinking in, hopefully in, so, uh, big wave. Ah. Here I am in the water, lots of excitement, oh, another wave. Shit. Okay. I don't know, could have been at least. Oh, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out on the camera later, but that was pretty hairy stuff. Uh, the further we got out, the bigger the waves got, and uh, uh, 
I made sure that I held on to the kayak this time. There's no way I wanted to be separated as happened previously when it got washed in and I was stuck out there. So we held on for grim death and uh, uh, grim life, grim death. <laughs> anyway, oh, I just shattered at the moment. That was pretty hairy. Um, Lucky, the, we didn't lose anything, the camera, I lost a cushion I think, but that's about it. Maybe a bloody sponge or two, but uh, 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 we finally got in, we sort of, I wasn't sure if the current was taking me out or in, um, just held on and finally we just seemed to be in a spot where there wasn't quite as many waves and uh, so I can't get this to stay still. That's better. There weren't a many ways. So I sort of climbed in and unfortunately the kayak very unstable with all the water in the cockpit and uh, tried to put the skirt on to stop more water coming in and oh and then we caught this wave and we sort of ploughed down it and uh, uh, with all the water in it we had to jump out. Uh, Oh, we repeated the process and uh, I got the skirt on and we had the pump emptying the water and uh, oh, and then we did catch a couple of waves they were just we actually caught one wave that just kept going and going without breaking and it, gee it must have carried me uh, two thirds of the way in I was a, gee, a couple of hundred metres out I reckon I'm just keeping washing the lens uh, that was pretty hairy. I was wondering if there were people on the shore, you know, watching whether I was going to need to get rescued. I just didn't feel like I was going in or out. We were just staying there, getting smashed by these big waves. Uh, anyway, I'm heading back in and I'm just going to wait for the easterlies. Hey, part of me just wants to throw it in. It really does. Uh, Another part says stuff that let's treat ourselves to a good room for two nights across the weekend and wait for these easterly winds which should flatten the seas out and uh, we go from there but oh mate that was a bit uh, I mean how do I describe it I wasn't it wasn't scary in the sense that I was thought oh shit I'm gonna excuse me that I thought we're gonna lose our life my life here but I, I was just worried that I you know that I wasn't going anywhere I, I could be stuck out there for hours uh, that's sort of a worry um, there was a worry that I'd lose equipment or that the kayak at one point would rip out of my hands but I sort of realized quite soon that I could quickly that I quite I realized quite quickly that I could hold on to the kayak no matter what the waves were uh, doing to me but uh, oh I held on tight I tell you that hurt I just, the, the biggest, my fear was that I, I was going not in or out and that I was just going to be stuck there getting washed and washed and, and actually to have been able to come in is, was quite something. Uh, oh dear. Anyway, so there you go, just uh, another adventure. Oh, these, <laughs> oh, starting to laugh now. Uh, you know, as time passes, all oh, this will just make the... You know, when I look back on it, it'll make it so much more to think about, you know, the, the hardships that I've been through. The, oh, dear me. Anyway, get the hell out of there, guys. We're not going out in that again. Ah, oh, frightening stuff. Oh, dear. Anyway, we're back in. We're safe. And I think the kayak's in one piece, and I really, apart from a one of my cushions, uh uh, I can always order another one of those. I don't think I really lost anything. I had to, I had to, uh, I had to, uh, reset the two paddles in the, in the back there. They were, at one point, it looked like they were going to get washed off, but I grabbed them. Uh, you know, we unhooked the camera and I actually put it in the compartment between waves. Uh, hey, really lucky, I think. <laughs> really lucky. That could have been a lot, lot worse. Uh, I would say it's, it's fair to say, guys, that uh, apart from being stuck in tents in the middle of the night and uh, 
you know, rotting sheep carcasses and, uh, you know, even the pilot, mate, that was probably the most worrying some, uh, worrying some uh, episode, guys. That was uh, quite hairy. It's going to be interesting to see what the, uh, what the footage is like uh, out there. Uh, I've just got a sense, we can see as we're going further and further out that the waves are getting bigger. There must have been a bar out there. I remember thinking to myself, should I be cutting across at a diagonal here to miss it? Did we? Oh dear. Anyway, there we are. We're back in and we're going to go and find, find some accommodation. Well, I've got to say, <laughs> we're just trying to get back to uh, civilization here after our dunking, and this is really very, very pretty. Uh, paddling around here, really wondering why I didn't pick some big lake to paddle around instead of this uh, ocean and the, the surf that goes with it, that's causing me so, so many problems. But look at this, this is really... It really is very, very pretty. I'm just going to to take the camera off here. Look at this. That's stunning. Protected little cove. Well, here we are the day after, uh, probably an hour later than uh, yesterday in terms of when we uh, had our problem here at the uh, Raglan Harbour entrance and or more particularly the, uh, the bar. Now, just giving you a look, you can see a bit of a channel going up the middle there. That's where we, uh, where we went yesterday and certainly uh, the editor of the Chronicle and uh, his, uh, his friend uh, Derek, the Belgium uh, multi-sporter and kayaker, mentioned that uh, from their vantage point I, I'd taken the right route. Uh, I'd got out pretty much to there, out the back, and it's got to be at least, I'm looking from up here, at least six or seven hundred metres. Um, we got swamped by waves. Uh, today, it's a long way out, so it's difficult to get the size, but today, swell is meant to be two and a half metres. Yesterday it was meant to be four metres. So we got there, capsized, we got a little wave, a little way in, got, uh, went over again, and uh, actually before that wave, we were uh, in, I think what happened was that we went over to this section here, and uh, we got wave after wave after wave. I wasn't sure whether I was going in, whether the current was taking me out. All I could do was uh, hold on for my dear life, uh, to the kayak and hope that it wasn't going to get washed or ripped out of my, uh, my grip. And uh, anyway, we got washed in and to a point which uh, I'm assuming was around about here because there was a bit of a lull in terms of the waves and it allowed me to climb in uh, with the pump going, the, uh, the battery, uh, 12 volt battery uh, operated pump, pumping water out and also importantly to put the spray skirt on which stopped more water coming in. Remembering that I'm sitting in a cockpit full of water, very unstable, and every time water washed over me it just went right in and filled it up again. And at this point we got a wave and it took me 
a long way in, a good couple of hundred metres we think, looking from up here, it was a long ride, a fast ride, exciting ride. Uh, the wave didn't break and that was, a, that was the thing that allowed me to keep going and hold it straight. That was a very exciting ride and ultimately we, uh, we beached just about behind where that sail was there I'd say, uh, allowing me to get the water out, pump and mop the rest of the water out and I then had to walk it around that bank there uh, to get inside the uh, fast flowing uh, out current. Uh, it was about 10 o'clock that we started going out and uh, high tide had been at about 7.30 we believe uh, so it was in full flow. Anyway we got round that corner and we were able to paddle back in. It was very worrying for a time there. Uh, just giving you a look now again from the uh, without the zoom on and uh, we'll just again so there's the entrance I'm just trying to give you an idea of how far out we'd got. It was a long way. From up here I'd say it's at least 600 metres, at least. Gee, it's probably a kilometre as I try and put a measure on it. And that's where the waves got me, right out on that, that perimeter there.